What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be doing no glue, clear slime, and one ingredient clear slime recipes. And guys, some of these I have never ever done before. Don't wanna miss this. For this first one, I'm gonna need something from my pantry. Oh, there it is, Cairo corn syrup, the light kind. I don't know if you can use the dark kind, but I have the light kind, so I'm gonna use it. So I'm going to put this into my pot. And not a whole lot, I'm just gonna coat the bottom of this. And I'm gonna put my temperature on medium, which is five, five and a half. There you go. And of course, always be careful when working with a stove and hot liquid, duh. I did end up turning this one up to about eight after a little bit, and then it starts boiling. Look at those bubbles, guys. This is really, really hot. Don't stick your finger in there. Don't be an idiot. And it just starts raging. Look at these bubbles. I don't have a thermometer, but I believe this could probably take your skin off. And this is kind of like a soft bowl stage or a soft, soft ball stage, maybe. I don't have my thermometer in there. Anyway, just start mixing this around a little bit. After the initial bubble flare up, it does condense down. So I'm losing some of that original corn syrup that's kind of bubbling and evaporating out. But look at this, guys. Look at this. It looks like slime to me. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens after we get it out of the pot. But guys, look at that. It looks like an icicle or maybe it's not dry. Look how clear this stuff is. This is awesome. After about two minutes, I think we're almost there. It seems to be gathering together as one mass. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this into my bowl. I'm scraping this pan and there's like a sheet of corn syrup on the bottom. You probably can't see that, but there's like a film already. But look at this poor guys, it's glorious. So the corn syrup, syrup, the corn syrup has thickened up into a mass. I cannot wait to see if it, you know, thickens up once it cools. Cause we're gonna have to let this cool for a good hour because it is very, very hot. Look at that, oh my gosh. Do you see the stick on the spatula? That is like clear, love it. I cannot wait. We're gonna have to wait to see if it's still slime once it dries, well not dries, cools down. Hey guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss an awesome Will It Slime video. So all in all, we probably cooked this corn syrup for about five minutes. It was a really quick process and I'm really excited to see the results. So we'll be back in about an hour. Your time, probably about two, three minutes, but we need to let this cool so I can actually pick it up. Next. For this next slime, we're gonna start off with some thumb. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with my tongue? Some cooking oil. And you can use Crisco, West, what is it, the Weston? I don't know, the other one. Um, I'm just gonna use a tablespoon of this. Next ingredient you'll need is some palm olive dish detergent. I mean, any detergent will probably work, but this is what I have. So you're gonna wanna use three tables of dish detergent. And color doesn't matter. If you want to dye this, you can go right ahead and do that. The next ingredient we're gonna have is two cups of water and just mix that on in. You're gonna to wanna to stir this really thoroughly to combine all the ingredients. And basically what we have done is made a bubble solution, a DIY homemade bubble solution. But hang on, we're still gonna make a slime with this, no worries. But first, if you wanted to make a quick little pipe cleaner bubble one, this is how you do it. Just one pipe cleaner, twist, 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 and make the little top into a circle and you can just go from there and blow some bubbles. Pretty cool. And I don't know if you know it, but pipe cleaners really do make great bubble wands because all the little fine, I'm gonna call them hairs, all the little fine hairs really grasp on to the bubble solution. So it really makes a solid foundation to hold those bubbles in place while you blow them. So very, very neat. And remember to twist your little arm up so your hand doesn't get wet. I just thought that was a cute little craft to throw in here. Um, hope you like it. Let's move on. Let's make slime. I love projects that have a dual purpose. So we are still gonna use this bubble solution. I didn't just make it for a craft. It is for this slime. So I'm just gonna pour that into this bowl and not all of it because that would be crazy, but just a little bit. Mm. 
The next ingredient you're going to need is some glue. Yes, I know I said a bunch of no glue, and I promise you'll have some more, but this one you do need glue, and you'll thank me later. Mix that in with your bubble solution really, really well. Next, I'm going to add in some coloring just so we can see it better. You don't have to do that. No big deal. Um, and you could do another color if you wanted to. I just want to do orange. Make it really pop. Look at this wonderful, bright orange. It makes me so happy. Be sure to beat this all in together really, really well because next we're going to add borax. And sometimes when you don't beat in your color, it doesn't blend in. Uh, I don't know what borax does. It just kind of lets, lets everything sit on top sometimes. Weird. Mix that all in together, and now a slime is developing. If you don't have borax, you can always use Tide Clear or Tide Regular, uh, any kind of scent you want. You can also use contact lens solution and baking soda. There's other, there's other activators that you can use. But for this slime, I am using borax because it is a stronger, thicker slime maker. And when you use Tide, it's a softer slime, and I want this thick stuff right here. Isn't this color just gorgeous? So adding the bubble solution has made this slime like jiggly and it makes its bubbles get even bigger. Does anyone else see an alien? I should have scented this slime mango because it's totally reminded me of mangoes. All right, guys, it's time for the corn syrup reveal. Oh my gosh, look at this. It has totally cleared up and it's, it's, a, it's very soft. Oh my gosh, look how clear this got. That is amazing. And it's a tad bit sticky still. And it's edible, guys. You can totally eat corn syrup. <gasps> Look at the stretch on this thing. Wow. It's totally like relaxed and not hot anymore. It's just like the perfect clear slime. No glue, one ingredient. Clear slime. The cooked corn syrup did so well, I wanted to try it a different way. So into my bowl here, I'm gonna add in some corn syrup. And I'm not gonna fill it all the way up. I'm just gonna do halfway. Now right here, uh, if you want to try this too, you could color it, but I'm just gonna keep mine clear, hopefully to get a clear slime. I'm sticking it into my freezer and I'm gonna leave it here for about an hour. While that's freezing, I wanted to try something new. I took, I'm taking a bunch of glitter glue and I'm gonna mix it together. See what color it combines to be. And I just kind of want to make this like an ASMR part of the video. So I'll try not to talk so much. Isn't that a pretty yellow? And then the pink on top of it that makes the orange color. Oh, nice. By adding this silver, I thought it would give it a little bit bling. Not that it needs any more bling, but I just like the silver. And I really contemplating put it contemplating put in black in there, but I thought everything would just turn black then, so I didn't put the black sparkles, even though it's gorgeous. And this blue, uh, it's, it's, it's just so pretty. They're all such pretty colors. This purple, it's got like metallic-y. It's something different about it. Really pretty. Aren't these colors just gorgeous together? In goes my borax and I'm just pushing borax down, try to get it in the bottom so I don't have to mix it so quickly. Look at this. The top has already got borax, so it's starting to solidify into slime. But it's just such a pretty masterpiece. While I'm mixing this, I have a challenge for you. Go hit the subscribe button in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Now look at this color. It's glorious gold. Who knew that mixing all those colors would give us this beautiful gold color. Awesome.
All right, let's check in on our frozen corn syrup and see what happens. Now, just a side note, I did check on this an hour later and it had stiffened up, but I wanted to see if I could leave it for two hours and then I got sidetracked and left it overnight. But this is what happened. Instantly when I touch it, I can tell it's stiffened up and it is stiffer. Like it is not a liquid any longer. Now, if you do leave it out, it's going to probably liquefy again, but you can just put it back in your freezer. Isn't this amazing? This makes a crystal clear, no glue, one ingredient slime. Like how awesome is this right here? Just look, I mean, it is so absolutely clear. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, look at the colors just coming through the tray onto that slime. Oh my gosh, this might be my newest favorite slime ever. Like it's like instant clear. I mean, it could be if you took it out an hour, like I should have, but it does, I think it got a little bit thicker just staying overnight. 